In a previous video, I had showed how to calculate the electric field at a point between two negative charges. This is the point P. The charge on the left was called Q2, and it had a magnitude of 4 microcoulombs. And the one on the right is Q3 with a magnitude of 7 microcoulombs. Uh, the distances to those particles was 0.2 meters and 0.15 meters. After doing the calculations, it was revealed that the electric field would point more toward the right side than the left side because the point is closest to this negative charge, and negatives attract positives. Uh, so this was our E total. And the magnitude of that E total was a million nine hundred thousand. Newtons per coulomb. It pointed in the positive i hat direction. The next question um, is going to ask us to find the force that acts on a particle located at point P. Now the particle that's there is a positive charge. and it has a magnitude of 6 microcoulombs. We want to figure out how much force is that positive charge going to feel because it's in the field. And there's an easy formula to find this. The formula is that the electric force acting on our particle will be the product of its charge times the field that it's in. So to solve this one, all we have to do is multiply our 6 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs times our field strength. As you can see, the coulombs here will cancel out, and that will leave us with newtons. and it'll act in the positive i direction, in other words, to the right. Just out of curiosity, what if our particle in the middle had also been negative? If that were the case, then our charge would be negative 6 times 10 to the minus 6. Our q would be negative, and that would cause our force to be in the negative i direction instead of the positive. So it would have the same strength of push, but it would be in the opposite direction. 